Welcome to Miami Beach. All right, so we're not in Miami Beach just yet. Last video, you guys saw that uh, I kind of explored, you know, a little bit of Miami. I went to downtown Brookwood area and I wanted to come to Miami Beach, but it got a little too late and the one wheel kind of died. So yeah, pretty much, I just want to finish what I did last video um, and basically just show you guys around what Miami Beach is like, cause it's kind of a different vibe. You know, it's just more lively. You can probably already tell I'm already in a better mood, but uh, let's go. My camera is fucking up. So yeah, um, let's just go. Let's just go right now. All right, peace. See you guys in a second. All right, guys, welcome back. As you guys can see, we decided to come to Miami Beach. I don't know, every time we come over here, it just feels like everybody's always just having a good time. I've never come over here and felt bad, you know? Anytime I feel like, you know, I wanna up my mood or get away from whatever. But as you can see, um, last time I did not come prepared, you know, last time I came in jeans and I got in the water. But this time, you know, as you can see, I usually don't wear shorts, you know? I, I'm comfortable with myself, but I just don't like showing skin. I don't know, I just, it makes me feel uncomfortable or weird. So wearing shorts is a very weird thing for me, but I did get prepared today because I do want to get in the water. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna record it because, you know, camera and water does not mix well. But Jerry is here, he should, I don't know, I think he listened to music or whatever. Luckily our schedules were aligned and we were both off today. Um, so we both decided to come to the beach. I'm not gonna lie, last time we had so much fun. You know, that was the first time in a long time where we were just so relaxed and just, you know, we got away. We didn't really, there was no worry of the future. Days like this are what keep me going. Because if I didn't do this, I'm not gonna lie, I'll probably burn out. And speaking of burnout, I do wanna make, I'm gonna make a video in the future talking about burnout and, you know, we're overworking yourself because I do that so much, so constantly. Even though I talk about not doing it, I still do it. But I will take this day to relax because man, I work every single day this week. This is my only day off. Like, what the fuck is going on? And it's not even gonna be enough. I mean, it's gonna be, bro, it's just, <sighs> wages and rent and jobs all of that that shit does not mix well it's just i don't understand how the economy guys is it's just stupid but um yeah let me catch you guys in a second i'm getting water <sighs> it's cold man. because man it's hot as fuck you guys see the sun the sun is beaming right now bro. all right let me catch you guys in a second <laughs> hey. that shit crazy yeah it's a jelly hold on we'll pull you can like this man i just gotta hold it i don't gotta press it yeah, it's already recording okay Follow me to the beach. You got it. Make sure it's good, like comfortable for you. It doesn't. You can't zoom in on this one. You just gotta record. People live my life. I'm just sitting at home, just waiting for it. Oh, you need opportunity, man. That's all you need is opportunity. Opportunity of a lifetime. It's a one. It's a one percent life. People are living it. I see it every day. They normal people. Come on, be clowns. You see, yeah. pressure fit. They multimillionaires and they get clowned out. Then they clowns. <laughs> what are they supposed to be multimillionaires? What? They're clowns. If they can make money, nigga, what? Octa? Yeah, you made a million. What? Nah, I refuse to live my life and let. I refuse. Talk to her. <laughs> she go down to history before me. That's great. Talk to her. Talk to her. That's more That's crazy. <laughs> the shit we let blow up, it don't make any sense. Like, why how to. I be seeing the most talented shit, the most talented art. Everything they be having like a hundred views. I'm like, what? In the hot tub? That's new trending. What is this? See the video? It's that's all she said. Like, what the fuck? I don't know. It's crazy. I don't know why it's, it's just so relaxing. Like the days so far have been so relaxing. Yeah. Like I haven't been. I've been chilling. Feeling good. 
crazy going on. Everybody's just chilling in the water. They're playing, just relaxing. to one of my favorite spots to get away. It has this really nice view of downtown just from far away. You know, once you realize that life is just over there and you don't have to keep your problems like congested in yourself, it's kind of freeing. I would say being over here definitely has its own vibe or style um, over there. So downtown, whatever, it's more like industrial and like up to date with the times. Like people are very, you know, you see people in suits, you see people with, you know, Rolexes and watches and flexing money. But over here, it's more like good times. Of course, people over here have money, too. I'm not even going to get it twisted. Like, people, I would love to live over here, but, you know, the cost of living over here is just insane. Um, my last video, I talked about cost of living and, you know, how much it averages. I'm not going to lie, Miami Beach is on its own separate plateau. Like, bro, I think the rent averages around 6k over here which is actually which is actually insane I said this before like where do you even buy a sailboat from like look at that sailboats um it's just people over here have real money you know that's kind of the vibe i get you know people are just more happier because of the wealth they have you know attained people over there in brooklyn and downtown they don't really have money they're renting you know trying to flex for instagram and they don't really got it like that but people over here the vibe is just a lot different because they actually have it which is why I like being over here. You know, I want to be one of those people that actually have it. I don't want to be a faker. You know, a lot of people, I've heard the saying, fake it till you make it. Nobody wants to see a guy on the internet, you know, complaining all the time. Of course, it's okay to be yourself and be authentic and have your down moments, but if that's all you have, I mean, they're going to build a pretty sad fan base, which is why I try to be as positive most of the time. But, you know, Miami Beach is very dope. I love being over here. I definitely want to come over here more and explore. Bro, there's so many different shops and towns and eateries and, my favorite store, Best Buy, is over here, and it's only over here. They don't have it over there in downtown for some odd reason. I don't know why. It's so annoying. So, you know, I, just, I would love to be over here. Jerry's watching me record. You know, it is kind of weird recording in front of people, you know. I probably should mention, so yeah, me and Jerry, we just got done eating. Uh, we got Raisin Cane's. Bro, I'm not going to lie. I haven't had Raisin Cane's in so long. No, we from the deep south. Why? Came in, just started eating. We didn't wash our hands or nothing. People do that? Huh? People do that? South, yeah. Really? Yeah. People really wash their hands before they eat? Yeah. Mm. I guess I am talking about nah, it. was so good they all eating. I, I, I stopped the nigga out, wiping my feet, my bare hands, and sand on this <laughs> shit. So I'm just digging in. I said, nigga, fuck, I'm in Mississippi. I don't care. Get all eating. Yeah, I was digging in. I was eating. I was eating good. So we were on the way to the beach and Jerry spotted raising canes. He was like, yo, we have to get it because back in our hometown, we used to get it all the time. And that was like the spot to go. So, so we left the beach, um, got some raisin canes, which was really dope. Food was delicious. Oh my God, I haven't had, bro, it, the, the Zach sauce is, mm, I love it. I don't know what they're putting in it, but that shit is so good. Um, the tenders, the fries, the, busted, the, little, the little toast, oh my God, that shit was so good. But I'm about to head home now. Um, and. I don't know, because I'm tired. I am physically, mentally exhausted. I have sand in places where sand shouldn't be. It is bad. Ready? I'm ready. Hot. You still what? You said you're ready? Yeah, I'm ready. It's hot. What? what? I don't got tired. Yeah, I just want to go home. Take a shower and get in the bed. Oh, this is going to feel nice. Ah, come on. We're about to get home. But the way the light reflects off the water right here is so dope. Yeah. Oh, it is too hot out here. God damn. That's one thing about Miami. It is so hot. Humid. Look at that. Lizards crawled under there. That's crazy. It's always hot. Always humid. 24-7. Except when it's hurricane season. And it's just wet. And dreary. Okay. I'm going to catch you guys when I get home. Oh man, I forgot to record the outro. Okay, so 
Um, as you guys can see, I'm back home. It is pretty late, so you can't really see anything. Uh, right now, I'm just currently editing. Um, you can't see, but not just there. But today was a really, really good day. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the vid. The channel is really looking up. You know, I just did 2K, and I really feel good about the future, about the future of the channel and the things that I want to do. You know, I really feel like I'm in my most creative element. Speaking on that, I have to make a video talking about um, YouTube burnout or burnout in general because I feel like I went through that low key without even realizing because for like the past week or two, YouTube felt more like a job than fun. I don't know. Like today, YouTube was just, like me making this video was just straight fun. I enjoyed it. It didn't really feel like, it didn't feel like it was no pressure. It was just, it was just fluid. Everything just worked. I don't know. I just, for the past week or two, I was maybe just burnt out or I was really, I don't know, I wasn't in the right mindset, but I feel like I'm completely back. I feel great. The video I'm editing right now is like 30 minutes long. Like before I, it was hard to make a video. I'm not gonna lie. I had to kind of force myself to wake up or I don't know, come up with a good video idea. But now it's like, it's just flowing off the top fluidly, effortlessly. I feel great, but I do want to finish editing because it is a pretty long video, as I said. And it's gonna take me a minute to edit. Um, hopefully it comes out on time. Fuck. That's another thing. When I get like super creative, I get really into editing, but it takes so much longer, which kind of sucks because I want to stay, you know, I want to stay as consistent as possible, but when I'm so creative and I have so many ideas, but those ideas take time, and then to edit the way I wanted it, it takes even more time. It's like, fuck, how can I, you know, stay consistent doing that? Especially when I have a job, full time job, doing that makes it really hard to like keep all the things together but regardless we're trying our best but that being said guys thank you so much for watching next year i really feel like it's going to be my year i'm saying it now mark my words here i don't know what today is it is i don't know but today is an ordinary day but today i'm saying in 2025 me ty Dent, i'm gonna change my life All right, with that being said, see you guys in the next one. Love you so much. Peace. Bye.